<laughs> I drew a blank right when we started. I'm sorry. He's literally breathing in the microphone and didn't say a damn word for like four seconds. Hey, hey, hey. Shut up. Actually, it was more than four seconds. It was about ten seconds. I'm just looking at you just, what? <laughs> Alright, I'll get to the point. Um, One word review. Poke it. Go. Poke tournament. Yes. <laughs> and a review. I'm That's joking. the review. <laughs> um... Namco decided to pair with Nintendo to make a Pokemon fighting game that we probably all wanted since, you know, the first Red, the first Pokemon games came out. Um, here we are, what, a good 10 plus years later? Was it 20? Who knows? Who cares? Yeah. 20 years later, they finally saw us this thing out. And I'm quite pleased with the result. Um, <clears throat> upon looking at it, I thought it was going to be kind of like Naruto-ish, but it's a lot deeper than that. And I guess I'll explain that. Um... The game is very simple, actually. Like uh, making combos is very sim simple. There are no complex, you know, chains like t uh, Tekken esque or Street Fighter esque chains that you need to memorize. Literally, just attack, attack, Pokemon move, and that tends to be about it. Which is very easy for me to pick up because I'm not very uh, much of a fighting fighting game enthusiast. I love them, but it takes me forever to learn. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, each uh, Pokemon varies in ability, obviously. You have Pokemon that um, are better against, uh, better in close range combat. Some Pokemon that are better at, uh, at a distance and some that kind of mix in between. And speaking of combat, it's kind of split up in between two different phases. The field phase allows you to move around in full 360 combat. And the dual phase puts you on a 2D plane where it plays more like, <clears throat> where it plays more like your traditional fighter. Um, of course, a lot simplified. Um, but this is where things get a little tricky. One, you do have to switch between those very often, so you have to be able to pick that up on the fly. Um, and two, the simple controls kind of mislead you because the mind game that you can that you have to play is very very important. There is a rock paper scissors, scissors aspect. Um, attacks trump throws, throws trump guarding, and guarding trumps attacks. So you have to be able to switch between those. You have to be able to catch your opponent off guard. Um, it can be very frustrating, but if you can, uh, catch on to it very quickly, um, it can be very rewarding. <clears throat> basics are easy to pick up, and once you learn the basics, you can pretty much piece together some of the combos uh, if you're just a beginner, uh, expert, intermediate. Yeah, you have to be very, very misleading. Pick up the controls, but you have to learn your opponent. It's very important in this game. Just like any other fighting game, but it is extremely important. True. Um, the game is very flashy. Uh, yeah. There are, there are effects flying all over the place. Whenever uh, a Pokemon suffers a, a huge hit, the game pauses for five seconds to let you just sit there and absorb the fact you just got slapped upside the head with a flaming fist or whatever <laughs> the fuck it was. <laughs> um, my chant with them fists. Oh my god, my chant was, was ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> I guess if I had to apply one word to this game, um, I think I would go with misleading. Because it is very easy to get to grab to pick up and play, but it, it can become very difficult because it's, it's less of a barrier of you learning how to play the game and more of a barrier of you really getting into your opponent's head. And if you, if that's something that you can't do, then you will not succeed in this game. It is imperative. That's, that's something that you learn. Um, you have to be very unpredictable, at least to your opponent, um, <clears throat> because other than that, uh, you will lose very quickly. Um, but that's the kind of game that I'd like to play. So I'm enjoy like like I said I'm enjoying it so far. I had extreme amount of fun. Everybody was easy to pick up and play with. The only difference was is, is what you said, Sano, is that you have to figure out who's more of a special attack user versus a regular physical attack user. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they get are able to mix it up equally, but sometimes you just have to keep your distance as opposed to getting in close. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's what I'm sticking with. My one word for the game is misleading, not in a bad way, but in a very good way. I would agree. <laughs> Alright guys, if you like the video itself, give us a like, subscribe, and go buy a Pokemon. Have fun with it. Oh, yeah. Let us know how you feel about it, okay? Write in the comments. Bye!